Cat Kid Comic Club by Dave Pilkey. Chapter One Ideas. Hey guys, welcome to the first meeting of the Cat Kid Comic Club. Hooray! This is Little Petey. He's the president, and I'm the vice president. How come Molly gets to be vice president? Yeah, 'cause I called it first. I got dibs. Rats. No fear. Ow, ow, ooh. Yeah, Melvin. Can I be a vice president too? Um. Hey, I wanna be vice president. Me too. We can't all be vice presidents. Says who? I'm gonna be the senior vice president. Oh yeah, well I'm the supreme vice president. I'm the triple double secret vice president. I'm the national vice president times ten. I'm the universal CEO of global vice management times infinity. You can't do that. You're fired, Daddy. What's going on? Stella fired me. From what? Um, I forgot. Welp, we're off to a great start. Yep, I fired him from the comic club. Oh yeah, can't do that, Stella. Told ya, Maria's trying to hog all the glory. She was too. If you kids can't behave yourselves, then little Petey is going to have to go home. Is that what you want? No, no. Then you'd better straighten up and fly right. Okay. Sorry, Daddy. So if everybody's done being a Hey, then let's get started. Thanks, Molly. Today we're gonna work on ideas. So everybody, grab a pencil and draw a line on your paper like this. On the left side, write five things you love: pizza, bubble gum, squids, videos, Katie did, comics, fireflies, popcorn, friend. Okay. Now on the other side, write five things you like to do: play, read, laugh, write, draw. Sweet. Would anybody like to share their lists? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Melvin. Behold, science, math, physics, dinosaurs, extra credit. Complain, argue, study, brush my teeth, gloat smugly. Actually, that's pretty good. Now let's all try to think up an idea by using stuff from Melvin's lists. He could write about a dinosaur who likes to brush his teeth, or a nerd who likes to annoy people. I got it. I'm gonna write a comic about a toothbrush. Named Dennis wants to be a lawyer for dinosaurs. Now I shall call my masterpiece Dennis the Toothbrush who wants to be a dinosaur lawyer by Melvin the Frog. Ta-da! Okay. Now everybody, be quiet. I'm working. So let's see. Quiet! I said. Okay. While Melvin works on his comic, we thought we'd show you all some done already. Feast your eyeballs! Dennis, the toothbrush who wanted to be a dinosaur lawyer, by Melvin the Frog. One time there was a toothbrush named Dennis who wanted to be a lawyer for dinosaurs. So yeah, the end. About the author, Nobel Peace Prize for graphic novels, Caldberry Award, copyright by Melvin the Frog, 
No copying or I'm telling. Melvin the Frog. Melvin the Frog is widely known as one of the world's most important major voices in graphic literature. He's won countless awards for his genius and awesome humility. His awesomeness has inspired countless generations and stuff. Coming soon, Dennis the Toothbrush who wanted to be a dinosaur lawyer too. Critics court. Well, that was dumb. Hey, do not talk to each other like that, Naomi. But I was just being honest. Do you need to go sit on the time out rock? No. Then you need to apologize to Melvin. I'm sorry your comic was dumb. Time out. And so, worst day ever. Don't worry, Molly. Things will be better tomorrow. How could they get any worse? Chapter two. We quit. Hey guys, welcome to day two of the Cat Kid Com. Excuse me, Molly. Before you begin, Naomi has something she'd like to say. Naomi? Um. Well, I. I'm sorry. I said your comic was dumb, Melvin. I mean, it wasn't very good, and now me. But at least you made a comic. I didn't even do that, so I'm sorry for being mean. Okay, you may continue, Molly. All right, guys. Does anybody want to share the comic they're working on? Anybody? Did anybody work on their comic last night? I can't think of any good ideas. Me neither. I'm not good at art. Yeah, I can't draw good. So nobody made a comic last night. I tried, but it was dumb. I ripped mine up. I can't spell good. Um, no offense, but me and Summer quit. Yeah, no offense. Why? Comics just aren't our thing. Sorry, dude. See you later. Wait. What is your thing? Summer likes photography, and Starla is a poet. Oh, well, comics don't have to be stories; they could be poems, and you can illustrate comics with photos. We can. Sure, you could work together on. We can work together. Uh, yeah. Why didn't you say so? We are back in. Let's go. I'll write a new haiku, and I'll get my camera. And the rest of you, I'm so disappointed. Fear, fear, fear! You're all a bunch of fraidy frogs. You're scared of making mistakes. You're terrified of messing up. Molly's right. You're afraid to fail, so you didn't even try. If you guys want to be in this club, then you've got to get over your fears. So your assignment for tomorrow is to fail. They want us to fail? Yeah, big time. Um, how? Tonight, I want you all to make a comic. That is terrible. Yeah, make a super dumb one. Embarrass yourself. I can do that. Me too. I'm good at embarrassing myself. Worst comic gets a prize. Can we work together? Of course. Awesome. We're gonna fail together. Let's go make a lousy comic. Disaster. Here we come. United, we shall lose. Are you kids sure you know what you're doing? Nope. Chapter three, four fabulous flops. Hey guys, it's day three of the CKCC. Did anybody fail miserably last night? I did. Us too. I'm an embarrassment to myself and others. Sweet. Who wants to go first? 
We do, we do. Monster tea sandwich. Story by Naomi. Color by Pink. Art by Corky. Lettering by Kendrick. Mama had a little baby. Little baby was very hungry. Give me some food, ma'am. Okay. I'll make a monster cheese sandwich for you. So she went to the fridge, but Mama grabbed the wrong cheese by accident. Mama cut the cheese. She put it on some bread and grilled it. But then, ow! Hey, little baby, your sandwich came to life. Not again! Run, little baby, run! Monster cheese sandwich attack! But then, where did he go? Psst! Hey, give me a banana, man. Okay. Oh, there you are. Here, let's be friends. No! Peel, peel, peel. Toss, slip, clunk, and then. Are you okay? Not really. Here, have a banana. Thanks. Munch, munch. Is it too late to be friends? It's never too late for friendship, except when I'm hungry. No, no, no. Burp. The end. How to draw the monster cheese sandwich? In seventeen ridiculously easy steps. Author's notes: Naomi the Great. These stories based on the truth. One time, Daddy said he was going to make us monster cheese sandwiches, but I thought he said monster cheese sandwiches. I got scared and cried. I was really little. Now. We all call monster cheese. Monster cheese is we think it's funny, but it wasn't at first. Now meet the great. About the illustrator, Corky has been an artist ever since he was a tadpole. His secret is to draw every day and don't give up, even if he makes lots of mistakes. About the colorist, Pink loves music. He can play the ukulele pretty good. He also loves to sing and wrestle. About the letterer, Kendrick the Frog is an awesome dude. He likes swimming and collecting stickers. When he's big, he'll stay up as late as he wants. That was awesome. But I thought you were supposed to make a bad comic. Molly said it could be done. Yeah, but it's still awesome. Really, I think you failed at failing, dude. Oh man, did he like it, Daddy? Yes, but the ending was a little violent, don't you think? Yeah, it was totally violent. Okay, who's next? Me, me, me. My dog by Pedro. My dog is big. My dog is awesome. I can have a dog. My dog poops big poops. I don't clean it up, but when some bad ninja guys attack, we will kill the world. But then they step on the poop of my dog. Oh no! Weak. Now we have to go home. No fear. Is the poops on our shoes is the reason. Boo hoo hoo! My dog saved the world. The end. About the whole thing, illustrator. Pedro is nice. P.S. This story wasn't true. It is fake. Pedro really doesn't have a dog, but he wants one. But Daddy says now every time. But maybe I will some day when I am responsible. The end. How to draw my dog in fourteen ridiculously easy steps. How to draw my dog's poops. In three ridiculously easy steps. That was awesome, Pedro. Yeah, good job. Yes, that was very good, Pedro. But the party humor wasn't necessary, was it? That was my favorite part. I do not want you kids writing poop jokes. 
Why? Is there is nothing funny about Kubu? Ha 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 ha! Did anyone make a comic that isn't violent or disgusting? We did. Our comic is one hundred percent free of offensiveness. Super fail by Kitty, Kip, and Curly. One day, a baby was born. Happy birthday, kid! What will you name him? Super fail. Why? Kaboom! Does that answer your question? Yeah, pretty much. Pillow. Four, four. Hey, I didn't get hurt. Clunk and so. Super fail. You must be a hero. Help! Help! Quick! Now's your chance. What's the problem, Mister? The old lady just stole a toothpick, but the sign says they're free. Read the fine print. Picks. Limit one per customer. She took two. I shall stop this crime. Hell, lady, stop stealing! No way. You'll never catch me. Oh yeah. I'll tie this rope to her car, and I'll tie the other end to the restaurant. Toy, toy. Don't worry, Mister. Now she'll never get away. Er, zoom, crash, 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 crash. But then, uh oh, I'm stuck. I can solve this problem. Yeah, snip. Sally's nuclear bomb factory. Crash, kablam, and so. Gee, thanks for destroying the earth. But look, I saved your toothpick. Hooray for super fail! The end. Coming soon. Super fail two. Old lady's revenge. Need the creators. KJ likes to hang out with the brothers. Kip likes computers and quesadillas. Curly likes pizza and frosting. Ha 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 ha! I thought he said your comic wasn't offensive. It wasn't. The whole world got destroyed. Billions of people died. Oh yeah, all because of a toothpick. I'm very disturbed by these comics. They're just so awful. I thought they're supposed to be awful. How about you, Poppy? I'll bet you made something nice. I did, Daddy. It's called the cute little fluffy cloud of death. The cute little fluffy cloud of death by Poppy. Once there was a cute little cloud. She was fluffy and dead. Hoy, hoy! But the sun was mean to her. Hey, you're creeping me out. Go away! So the cute little fluffy cloud of death cried and cried. But she has watered the dead flowers. Her scallop was not thirsty no more. Yum! Ghost girl and skeleton boy had fun playing the puddles. Wee! I like this game. Thank you for the nice rain. Let's be friends, okay? Okay. It's fun to be dead. But then, hey, you guys are dead. Nobody likes you guys. Just ignore her and she'll go away. And do you know what happened? Hey, losers! Hey, stoops! Hey, she went away. And the moon and the stars came out. The end. About the author, Poppy is a frog who lives with her family in a camper by the pond. She likes ghosts and skeletons, and drawing and monsters and rain. She likes to draw every day because it is fun. Also, she likes dogs. The end. Do you like it, Daddy? Um, Poppy, may I speak to him private? Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. Are you depressed or anxious? Um, not really. Is anybody bullying you? No. Then why did you make that comic? 
Oh, these are like skeletons and ghosts and... Then why is the little cloud dead? I don't know. Lots of people are dead. Hey, I'm back! Just in time. You're giving out awards. Did I win? Yep. You got the prize for weirdest comic. Yay! And you guys get the award for craziest comic. Awesome! And the award for most violentest comic goes to Super Fail. And here, Pedro, you win for the grossest comic. Sweet! Let's get started on the sequel. Let's make a comic about poop wars, and we got an idea about evil zombies. I'm gonna make a story about a dead airplane. I'll use felt glue and construction paper, and I'm gonna make Dennis the toothbrush dinosaur lawyer too. You'll probably put some dinosaurs in it this time, and also maybe a plot. Something should happen this time. I'm just saying. I've got it. Murder. All right. That's enough.